And he kept pretty much to himself at first. I guess he had a lot on his mind, trying to adapt to life on the inside. It wasn't until a month went by that he finally opened his mouth to say more than two words to somebody. As it turned out, that somebody was me. I'm Andy Dufresne. Wife killing banker. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. <laughs> you gonna fit right in. Everybody in here is innocent. Didn't you know that? Hey, well, what you in here for? Didn't do it. Lawyer fucked me. Rumor has it you're a real cold fish. You think your shit smells sweeter than most. Is that right? What do you think? I'll tell you the truth. I had made up my mind. <laughs> I understand you're a man that knows how to get things. I'm known to locate certain things from time to time. I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. A what? A rock hammer. What is it and why? What do you care? Well, if it was a toothbrush, I wouldn't ask questions. I'd just quote a price. But then a toothbrush is a non-lethal object, isn't it? Fair enough. Rock hammer is about six or seven inches long. Looks like a miniature pickaxe. Pickaxe? For rocks. Rocks. Quartz? Quartz. Some mica. Shale. Limestone. So? So I'm a rock hound. At least I was in my old life. I'd like to be again on a limited basis. Or maybe you'd like to sink your toe into somebody's skull. No, sir. No, I have no enemies here. No? Wait a while. Word gets around. The sisters have taken quite a liking to you. Especially Boggs. Don't suppose it would help any if I explain to them I'm not homosexual. Neither are they. They have to be human first. They don't qualify. Pull queers, take by force. That's all they want or understand. But if I were you, I'd grow eyes in the back of my head. Thanks for the advice. Well, that's free. You understand my concern. Well, if there's any trouble, I won't use the rock hammer, OK? Then I'd guess you want to escape. Tunnel under the wall, maybe. <laughs> if I missed something here, it was funny. You understand when you see the rock hammer. An item like this usually to go for. Seven dollars in any rock and gem shop. My normal markup's twenty percent, but this is a specialty item. Risk goes up, price goes up. It's making it even ten bucks. Ten it is. Waste of money if you ask me. Why is that? Well, folks around this joint love surprise inspections. They find it, you're gonna lose it. They do catch you with it. You don't know me. You mentioned my name. We'd never do business again. Not for shoelaces or a stick of gum. Now, you got that? I understand. Thank you, Mr. Uh... Red. Name's Red. Red. Why do they call you that? Maybe it's because I'm Irish. I could see why some of the boys took him for snobby. He had a quiet way about him, a walk and a talk that just wasn't normal around here. He strolled like a man in a park without a care or a worry in the world, like he had on an invisible coat that would shield him from this place. Yeah, I think it would be fair to say I liked Andy from the start. <laughs> 